Assalamu alaikum guys, this is Abdullah. Today we are going to build water level detector, which can be easily used as rain detector as well. So first, here's the circuit. There's a 9 volt DC source, an LED to give output as light, a 330 ohm resistor, a transistor BC548, and another resistor 220 ohm. The other terminal of the resistor is taken as output terminal. So if you see the rest of the circuit, you will observe that the circuit is the copy of this part. So let's take this part and do some analysis. Actually before the analysis, let's build this part first. Okay, I have my breadboard here and the circuit is here. I see there's a 9 volt DC source. So I have my battery cap here and this is a positive terminal. And connect it here right here like this and then in the circuit the positive terminal of the LED is connected with the positive terminal of the battery so here's the LED the positive terminal of the LED is connected to the positive terminal of the battery the negative terminal of the LED is connected with a 330 ohm resistor so here is the 330 ohm resistor And here it goes. The other terminal of the resistor 330 ohm is connected with the collector terminal of the transistor. So here's the transistor. If you put the flat face towards you, the most left part of the transistor is the collector part, the most right one is the emitter part, and center one is always the base. So the one with no arrow on it is the collector part. The one with the arrow showing is the emitter part. The other terminal of the 330 ohm resistor is connected with the collector part of the terminal of the transistor. So here is that. And now the emitter part is connected with the negative terminal of the battery. So here is the negative terminal of the battery, battery cap. And I'm going to disconnect it with negative emitter terminal. Now the 220 ohm resistor is connected with the base terminal of it. So here it is, 220 ohm resistor connected with the base terminal. Okay, now the other terminal of the resistor, which is here, is taken as an output. Okay, I'm going to do this then. And if you see in the circuit, a positive terminal a wire coming all the way through here on the top here and it goes back here on the bottom so that wire I am taking here is this one now I'm gonna connect it to the battery okay now these two wires are the output terminals I have a glass of water here now if I dip these two wires the LED must glow here you see wire going in LED is glowing you can put a buzzer over in the place of the LED it can do as well now let's do some analysis actually first you see here even if I touch these two wires one is still here and I touch I touch it it goes on touch it goes on touch it goes on okay so human resistance is two mega ohms I'm gonna show it right here okay so here's the TMM here's one part here's the other part I'm touching it well it is showing one mega ohms right now but it is normally average taken as two mega ohms sometimes more sometimes less so here's three one and 1.78 1.9 it's two here so human resistance two mega ohms so when i touch it that means there's a two mega ohm resistance in the circuit so i'm taking this part which is repeated over on the top 
and I'm doing this analysis here. Okay, the terminal that is connected, uh, the output terminal of the resistor is given as path point A, and the positive terminal is the common wire. So here we have the same circuit. 9 volt battery, an LED, 330 ohm resistance, transistor BC5 for it, 220 ohm resistance and this terminal is output terminal and this point is the A point and the wire coming from the positive terminal is the common wire. So when I touch it that means a 2 mega ohm resistance is introduced here in between these two points because I touch this point and this point and the LED flashes that means there is current going on through it. So let's do loop analysis I make a loop like this and like this I say this the current in this loop is I1 and the current is in this loop is I2 so starting from this point okay this point the voltage in LED V LED and the voltage in this 330 ohm which is also the part of this loop so I'm taking I'm now considering I1 so 330 into I1 minus I2 I'm taking uh, taking I1 here this loop then there's the collector and the base terminal so VCB plus 220 ohms into I1 that is this voltage here and then there is 2 mega ohms resistor which is also the part of the loop into I1 so this is the equation of the, this loop I take only I1 in this and this because no other loop is connected with this uh, now let's talk about the other loop I2 let's start from this point first the negative terminal of the LED comes so minus LED minus V LED and then there's the positive terminal of the battery plus 9 which is 9 volt battery so I am doing it plus 9 and then there is the emitter terminal and the uh, emitter terminal and the collector terminal so plus VEC plus 330 ohms now I am taking the second loop so 330 I2 minus I1 that is the voltage of it now sol solving these two equations simultaneously we get I1 to be 4.5 micro amperes and I2 to be 54.6 milliamperes. There's a minus sign here that means we draw the loop like this and the current is going in the opposite direction to it opposite direction to the arrow that means we draw the loop like this the current is going like this that minus, minus signs shows here so 4.5 micro amperes for here it is the circuit is redrawn here to the base terminal there is 4.5 micro amperes and to the collector terminal the 54.6 actually milliamperes is going to through the resistor to the LED that shows the transistor here is acting as an amplifier normally the current in the base is of the order of micro amperes which is true here and here normally it is milliamperes or some point amperes which is quite true here too so this is applicable on the all the rest of the parts because they are the repetition of the this part so now i'm gonna build all of the parts this one this one this one and this one i'm gonna show you how to apply it okay so i have completed the circuit i have done about three repetitions i didn't include the buzzer you can do it by yourself so here it is the this is a blue led whose output wire is about here by this one and this is the lowest level this shows i can name it anything this shows the lowest level and this is the yellow wire the output terminal of this wire is this one ending up here right here and this is a red one 
this is the top one it shows that the tank water tank or whatever it is is full because the wire is ended here and this wire is touching the bottom you see over here in the circuit this wire this is a common wire this must touch the bottom of the water the water tank because when this wire and this wire gets connected this led will show on when this is and this is connected this will go on and so on so i'm gonna put water in it where is the water here's the first one as the water touches the point a and going on when the water touches the output terminal of the yellow LED, the LED, LED, LED go, goes on and when it's full the red one goes on so you can name anything any light anything and you can put a buzzer over here instead and you can make any number of levels you want and this can also be this output can also be used to give input to a microcontroller and a digital water level detector can be made so if you guys like my video please subscribe to my website thank you